Hi everyone, it's Crusale and I'm back with more Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. And I've done a little bit of upgrading since we last were around. And uh, let's see, I switched over to Carabos because I realized that I wanted to try up leveling up another one of my familiars. Additionally, I've been working on some techniques. And now I'm back on the Galleon Minerva because I want to try and use my gravity launch to be able to actually... Oh my gosh, okay. You know what? I was hoping to have a nice, cool entry of me just beating guys up, but apparently that I can't have that. So, there we go. Come on. Fine. Um, so I found out of something. I came here, and you can actually, when you invert gravity here, she'll automatically invert back, which allows you to get up here. Pirate hat. Really? Okay. I'm getting the sense that maybe I should have been able to get that much earlier. So I just wanted to quickly get the stuff on the Galleon Minerva before I started moving back into other areas. The stuff I couldn't get before due to issues. to go... Uh, I guess I might as well go this way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that. Oh, nice. Plenty of seeds. But I've actually got enough of all those. Well, I guess it, it never hurts to have more. Honestly, you... When you're cooking, you go through that stuff really quickly. Ah. Trying to do these techniques sometimes is really just not easy. If the inputs do not go through properly. There we go. Cannon scrap. That's a new one. Man. There we go. Sanji go. Oh, nice. Actually, I needed that. I needed that one. So that's a big plus, getting that. That's another spear I actually needed to be able to complete certain techniques. I also found that the spear techniques are a lot more fun than I gave them credit for. But I'm just trying to work my way down my mastery list, because I found out that when you master a technique, it means that you can use it with any weapon of that type. So big bonus when you're trying to... Uh, I don't know, when you're trying to use stronger weapons, but you can't use your old techniques because you haven't mastered them. And you need to be using specific weapons for those. So, yeah, just good to have. Good to have. Alright. These mortes, I mean, I go after them a little bit differently, but... Well, I'd be trying to use my power techniques, I guess. Ah. Wow. Thank goodness for fire resistance. Ugh, I'm having a little trouble getting that power swing off. A little bit annoying, not gonna lie. But, you know, it is what it is. Ow! 
Apparently I have a wider swing than I thought with this Ulfberg sword. Oh well. I've also, um, well, I've been upgrading a few other things, like I said, including some shards, and now I've actually got resist poison and resist pet petrification as techniques, or as a, just skill shards, because I managed to get them to level 9. It's very, very useful. At some point, also, I'm planning to upgrade the Kara boss to her maximum level. It's just that I need more fairy wings to do that, and it's a little annoying to go back and have to just hunt those guys for their wings. I also wanted to go and actually get that just teleport location, so sorry this is such a roundabout thing, but I forgot how this works. You know how it is. Alright. Uh, freaking lawnmower outside. Decapitation! Whoops. Kinda hoping I, that would just be a way I could go through. Oh well. I'm waiting for that shadow double technique to actually start paying off. Also, I found out that the way you upgrade is by using all of these sweets that apparently are favorites of Miriam. It's kind of fun and funny. There we go. Finally got the technique off. And two. And you know what to do. Because yeah. also, as this game progresses, I'm getting kind of tired of not being able to use these techniques when I've got stronger weapons. So I'm just trying to use them more as I go along. Especially as I'm getting into areas with stronger enemies, it's becoming more and more apparent that I just... I can't take the time to be trying to use these techniques multiple times against enemies who are going to be pummeling me the entire time. Speaking of which... Meh. Alright. Well, we've taken care of this area. I want to go... Where do I want to go? Hmm. Where do I want to go? I guess back here. There's a bunch of stuff that I've missed here. Or that I haven't completed yet. Hmm. But while I'm at it, there is a bunch in Dion Cathedral I wasn't able to access. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> There's also that room there. Just. Huh. <laughs> for the sake of progress, let's go back here for now. Just unlocking more of the map, and then I'll go and take care of all those items I've missed so far. in the desert. This. Oh. Right. I can't resist slow still. Let's see where this takes us.
Deep breath, Miriam. Whoa! Okay, that's a Rottweiler head. Very glad that I now have fire resistance. He's a piece. Not helping. Huh. What's up, my man? Platinum. Traveler's hat. Oh, right, I forgot I need to switch this over. My plunderer's ring. Traveler's hat. Decrease to luck, but big boost to attack, strength, and defense. Hmm. Oh, that looks pretty cool. It's very Bloodborne. The other advantage to having the Kara Boss on is that now I can actually use those items that she provides. Really? Jerk move. Beat up a Rottweiler and all I got was just lousy 10 gold. Jeez, make that a shirt. Mithridate. Interesting. What is up here? Alka has times two. You know what time it is. All oh, right. Ah! Weighted ring. Your experience intake. Interesting. Good for grinding, it sounds like. Wow, I did not realize how much damage I've been taking. Jeez. Do I have any? Uh, I. I guess she only uses it when I'm in trouble. Hmm. Well, it is what it is. That's not the right shard. I don't like that that is how it works. Ow. Really?
Oh boy. This is problematic. Whew. Slightly embarrassing I had to do that, but honestly, I did not want to lose all that progress. And that was a bad situation. Hold on. Oh, really? Now you use it? Wow. Just wow. <sighs> I guess I was just, well, live and learn. I was one second too hasty with that waystone. No. Son of a gun. I'll be right back. All right, everyone, I'm back and Okay, cool. Just found a little secret, so... Took care of that quickly. I gotta deal with all these guys. This. <laughs> His name's Rocky? That is actually really adorable. Sorry, Rocky. We're gonna just move right along. Nothing to see here. Bye bye. Take this. Oh. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Lethargy. Oh, that is nice. Took a while to get, but still. It seems worth it. Especially if I can upgrade it. Bar. Another flame whip. I'm gonna go back up here. And there we go. Yoink. Hello. You are very welcome. You are very welcome, site. Potent ammunition. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. Let's set up. Uh, want that. I should know we're good there. But we do want... There you are, Aqua Stream. Amphibian Speed. Oh. 
Ah, you can do it mid-air. Good to know. Yeah, being in the water is a very ideal situation for Miriam because honestly, it seems like every single thing I have is not very much to my benefit underwater. And this just became a lot more interesting. Huh, it's actually easier to invert when you're underwater. Or in mid-air, actually, not just underwater. Okay, that's a bad idea still. Let's see here. Turn off deep sinker for now. There we go. And turn that back off. Dang it. There we go. Hmm. Phew. All right. There we go. Easy. Whew. That's a little more nerve-wracking than I wanted. Alright. But we're still moving along. There we go. Up we go. Nice. But funny enough, I need more silver than I need platinum right now. Anything here? Whoa. <laughs> well, that was surprising. What do we got up here? Let's switch back over. That worked. Demon Fang, huh? Interesting. Oh. Oh my. All right, everyone, I think that's a good place to call this an episode. Next time we'll be completing our foray into the Forbidden Underground Waterway and 
yeah, getting a few more items. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you for the next one.